All right, y'all. So, yeah, I'm going to have a mask on. I look a mess. I just got off of work not too long ago. I am actually on my way to pick up the king. King Midas. I'm so excited. Ah, I'm excited. So, I'm not even 10 minutes away. I'm about to go pick him up. I talked to Adriana and she said that I can record while I pick him up. And I'm just like, yes, sis, like, let's do it. I am actually quite nervous. I have never had a rabbit. I haven't even had a cat. But they're a lot like them. So this is his litter box. Or not even his litter box. This is his um, kennel. And I have paper bedding in there. Pet select. And I have alfalfa hay. Because you know they get that unlimited. There's no pellets in there. But this is going to be where he's going to be at for the drive home. And we got a 45 minute drive. So let's get it. Let's get it. King. Midas, come on. I know it's on your time. So I got him in the house. And he's staying in his kennel until he comes out, until he's comfortable. Litter house is over there with my freaking sanctuary stuff on top. He got a little teepee bed over there. And this is his playpen. I will eventually put him in. But he just needs to come out. Come on. Come on, baby. You're okay. Come on. Come on. And he decides to eat. He wouldn't eat the whole car ride. I don't blame him. It was super bumpy and it was like a 40 minute drive, but more like 50 minutes. But it looks like he's eating the alfalfa hay. Oh, he's more comfortable in there. So I have to go to work tonight, but. I am going to sit here as long as I can for him to <clears throat> get comfortable with me. Trust me. He needs to know I'm not going to hurt him. So, you know, they are prey animals and I'm very big. So I don't want to just, you know, pull up on them, pull them out of there. You know what I mean? So I'm going to let little man eat. His home is already set up. So this whole area is his play area. Like... This is all him, bruh, for my baby.